Hey guys, welcome back. It's TK and today we're going to talk about the Expose Installer APK that we normally use to interface with our Expose modules. I'm going to launch the application itself and you're going to notice right out the bat it looks a little bit different. It actually has a theme. Now the reason behind this is this is actually a material design version of the Expose Installer APK. So it's based on the one that we have from Rovo and basically made better. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and check it out and see what the difference is basically, what are some of the improvements and is this better? First thing we greeted is, is the same screen. You can see here that the module or the actual installer version that I have is version 80. Now I'm able to actually hit the tab button here and it shows me all the other ones that I have listed in my folder. Of course, I have the one that's installed for my system. Since I am running a Nexus 6P, I need to make sure that I'm running the ARM64 version. And of course, uh, we're able to actually see the additional one if we want to update to a different version. So the main benefit here, this is where you'd be able to go in and update. If you're not running on 80, you need to be on 80. It is stable. We no longer have crashes, random reboots or any issues with the exposed and the modules running in the background, especially for deep battery savings. I did have some issues and 80 that fixed that for me. Uh, right out of the box, the three dot menu option here gives us the ability to basically soft reboot, soft reboot, and then reboot into recovery if we need to do that. And then we go into the settings real quick. Uh, the theme or the default theme that comes into the actual application itself is the light theme. I like to keep it on the dark, especially with the AMOLED screen. It keeps me with a better battery savings there. Installation mode, just to go directly via recovery. Uh, versions to be shown, of course, I'm still keeping it to basically stay with the stable ones. Uh, you can go higher with betas. Uh, custom icons, this is what you'd want to be basically show in the actual launcher. Currently, I'm using the one made by the developer that modded the actual application itself, but I can go with the classic one and just keep it there. Not a problem. Uh, enable uh, heads up notification, enable module uh, update notifications, so it will let us know when they're due, um, and it'll basically keep updating us. And then there's some additional options here for module update uh, notification, choose the color, different things that you can customize, opening it up in Chrome for the internet browser for links, uh, and then default view. Right now I have it set to be the framework, but you can change it from module directly to the download tab or even to logs. Uh, I like to keep it on the framework when I launch the application. And of course, we have the ability to disabling the actual resource hooks, uh, installing mo uh, module with root, which is normally what we would do anyways, and then ignore update if we don't want to just update them at all. We'll go back. And then the tabs on the left, you'll notice we have that nice transparent material design view here. Look at that. Um, modules, of course, on the ne next tab, download logs, pretty much standard. And the modules look pretty much the same. You have the same color theme up there. Uh, you're able to basically, if you'd like a module, you'll be able to go in and share it. We'll go into the download tab, and this is where it gets a little bit nicer. Uh, you'll notice again the segregation. Now I have an update here that's coming in. I'll click the actual module, it takes it back. The transitions are very nice. Uh, again, it's just it's nothing major, but it's essentially it's something that you normally would not get with the installer itself. And I can see here I'm going to version 1.3.2 to 1.3.3. I'll go ahead and say install, and then we'll let it finish there. The other thing here is now you have the ability of sharing. Uh, that's something that you can actually do. You can share from here, refresh, and you can favorite a certain module if you like. And of course, once it's done updating, this module will get out of this list and then it'll go, it'll be done. Uh, the other thing that we want to make sure, you notice it went away and now gives us the option to do a soft reboot. I'm just going to keep it here for right now. I'm not going to modify it, but I can do a soft reboot directly from there. I can refresh by doing a pull down. And of course, logs, settings, we already covered support and then about, uh, it kind of goes about the same way. It just explains basically the version of the actual installer APK and it is the latest version available. So you definitely covered there. Very nice, very, very, really a nice improvement that I really wish the original application had, uh, but just something that we don't have right now. But if you do want to, and to use this actual installer, one thing you need to be aware of, you have to uninstall your existing installer and then install this. It will not override since it's the same exact version, just modified, okay? Hope you guys like this. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen this application or are you using it. Um, other than that, like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.